for anybody who can't be on. Thanks for being on, and sorry it was a little late. I, I was sitting here and I just looked up and I'm like, oh my gosh, it says 8.31, so sorry. Um, I wanted to do a little call kind of mid-month to check in with everybody and to, to kind of do a little powwow session. We'll keep it short. Um, I have a few things I want to say, and then I, I'd like everybody to share some successes they've had throughout the month so far, and then we can do some debriefing and any um, – any issues you want to talk about or troubleshooting, okay? So that's kind of my plan. We'll keep it quick. Let me get my clock up here, though, because there we go. Um, I'll, I'll just make sure I'm, I'm keeping it short. Jamie, I see that you're on. Thank you for jumping on. I know you're on a different team cup, but I'm glad you're here. So can you guys hear me okay? Can I get a thumbs up? Yeah. Okay. So what I wanted to talk about tonight um, is consistency. And that is a message that we hear all the time as coaches, but um, I've really been hearing it more and more lately, and it's just in my brain right now. Um, so I have been a coach for three years this uh, May, and um, my business has definitely done this. Uh, you know, some months are easier, some months are harder. This has been a hard month. Actually, last month was hard too. And I, I you know, I don't know if you guys are feeling that way or not, but um, I don't know. People just aren't biting right now. I don't know if it's just too cold or, and they're, they don't feel like spring is close enough, so they're not quite ready, you know, to think about swimsuits or um, if, if it's just because of, you know, they don't have their taxes done and they're afraid to spend money. I'm not sure what it is, but, um, it, I, I definitely feel like people are not, not jumping. And, um, I've talked to some of my friends and, and my coach and they're kind of saying the same thing. So I thought tonight would be a good night to talk about consistency. Um, so when I started, there were two pieces of information that I got pretty, pretty early on that have replayed in my head um, since then. Every time I kind of struggle, I think about these two things. And so I wanted to share them with you in case it could be helpful for you guys. And I don't think I hit record. Oh yeah, I did hit record. Uh, so one of them was um, some, I don't even remember who said it, but they said, you know, just try to outlast the people next to you in this business. And maybe that's a little bit like, I don't know, aggressive or, or whatever. So maybe you could say it like um, you've probably heard, try to be here in a year, be here a year from now in this business. Either way, however you want to say it, it really resonated with me and it's been so true. Um, and I thought, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to stay the course and people are going to drop off as I go and I'll still be here, you know, so I'll still be showing my network that I'm still here and this is still what I want to do and this is still my lifestyle. And sure enough, people that started when I started and had businesses that paralleled mine at the beginning and we ran together and we were right together, they have dropped off for whatever reason and I'm still here. And, you know, just the fact that I'm still here has put me way above where they are because they're, they're not here. So I encourage you to just, you know, make that promise to yourself to be here in a year, to, to stay with it. Um, it's not, it's not easy. And even though it's simple, this is a simple business. Anybody can do this, but it's not easy. It's, um, it's hard to be your own boss and to kind of push when nobody's really telling you to and to make yourself, you know, do the things you need to do. That It is hard. And, you know, sometimes you get rejected over and over and over. And that sucks. It sucks to be told no over and over. Um, but I want you to base your, um, your confidence on your work ethic, not on your results, because the results will come if you've got the work ethic. So focus on, on the activities that you're doing. The other piece of advice I got early on that has stuck with me is to take quitting off the table. And it was a Star Diamond coach, um, Chad Grau. He's in the Springfield area. He, he said it at a Super Saturday, and it was the question was something like, you know, how do you keep going when you're frustrated or something? And one of his tips was, I just took quitting off the table. And for me, that made so much sense because up until that point, I would be like, you know, I'd have a good month and be like, oh, I love this. I, this is awesome. And then I'd have a bad month, and I'd be like, I'm going to quit. This is hard. 
And then, you know, I'd, I'd do that all the time. And it was exhausting uh, because I was always trying to, like, figure out if I should quit or not. And once I heard that advice um, from Chad, I thought, yes, I, that makes so much sense. I'm going to take quitting off the table. That is not one of my options now. You know, when I'm having a hard month, I have this option and this option and this option. There are these things I can do, but quitting isn't one of them. And once I did that, I can't tell you how it just simplified things. It just made it, it was like a mental switch. It just, I was more in, invested. I was in the game. Uh, I wasn't always thinking about leaving. I didn't have my energy going towards that thought. My energy was just in doing what I needed to do. So stay here, be here in a year, and take cleaning off the table. And I, I promise those are, those are two kind of big things that, that helped me out. So I hope they help you. So continuing with consistency. You guys might have seen me post about this, but I'm sort of obsessed with this right now, the slight edge. And I'm going to be um, creating an event for a book club. I think, Alex, you said you wanted to do it. And I forget. I think Jamie did too, actually. Um, the Slight Edge is, uh, I mean, I don't know why I haven't read it before now. Because Melanie Mitro was the first book she ever read. She's the top coach twice in a year, twice, two years in a row. So why wouldn't I have read it before now? But, oh my gosh, it is, it is I don't know, it's just clicking with me and I'm obsessed with it. And it's about consistency. So the whole premise is that, you know, we have these activities we can do every day. Um, let's talk about our health and fitness. It parallels our business. So, for example, um, it's pretty um, easy to eat carrots for a snack instead of Cheetos. That's an easy thing to do. But it's also easy not to do. It's easy to reach for the, the Cheetos instead of the carrots. Um, it's easy to go press play for, for 25 minutes. Really, it is. And it's really easy not to. Um, and you could go on and on and on. So the slight edge is doing those little things every day that are easy to do and easy not to do. And those slight edge behaviors, those tiny little behaviors, compound over time for really big results. Most people are not willing to do those small activities every single day. And I, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel that so powerfully. And, you know, in, in our health and fitness, I mean, you guys know that working out one day a week is not going to get you the results you want, but working out every day or five or six days a week, that will. And it won't, you know, it won't happen overnight, but in six months, all of those workouts add up to big results. So it's the same with your business. Working your business one or two nights a week is not gonna get you where you wanna be. But if you work it a little bit every day or five days a week, um, in six months, all of that work is going to equal results, and that's consistency. So. Even when you're not feeling it, even when you're not feeling motivated or you're uninspired or you're just frustrated, if you do this, and Jamie, you can't see me, but I'm doing like a wave with my hand. If you go up and down and up and down, your, your um, network is going to watch that. They see that you're not being consistent. If you stay even, stay the course, even when you don't feel like that, when you don't feel like it, they're watching you and they're going to see that you are consistent and they will jump on. So I encourage you um, to stay consistent even when it's hard and even when you want to be like, this this is too hard, I'm just not going to post for a while, I'm going to pull back, I'm going to wait until people are ready. Don't do that. You stay there, you put yourself out there, you show them that you're showing up every single day and um, it will come, it will come. Remember that you're filling the funnel and you have to just keep plugging away. And I'm, I'm saying that to you and I'm saying that to me. I know, you know some months, some weeks are just harder than others. So I think that's all I wanted to say about that. The slide edge, I will be starting, it's on my to-do list. I'm gonna set up an event, like a, a public book club. We're gonna try it. I was hoping um, we could attract some people who were like us and wanted to better ourselves and it could be like a kind of kind of pseudo coaching filter system. That was my idea. Okay, so let's, um, I'm gonna, we'll go around and I'd like you guys to share how about one success you've had this month so far um, that you <laughs> that you are proud of, or something you something you want to share that you're proud of since we started Team Cup, and then we'll we'll go back around. And if anybody has anything you want to troubleshoot, we'll do that. So go ahead, um, Alex. Will you start? You can unmute yourself and.
something that was a success this month? Um, well, I'm having a little bit of trouble, but I'm still, you know, reaching out to people and uh, messaging people and people are seeming interested, but don't know if they want to go, you know, all the way full out. But um, today, actually, I had somebody message me um, and just asked, you know, hey, like, what, what are you doing? Like, like, how do you do like, what do you do, basically? And so I thought that was kind of cool. Like, people are, you know, starting to notice my posts, which, you know, I just thought, you know, people are just like things, but they're actually starting to notice something. So that made me feel decent. That made me feel pretty good. That's, but, um, that's awesome. I think you've done a really good job at staying consistent. Like you do. Thanks. I mean, it's really subtle. It's not like in your face. It's just like, Hey, this is my, this is what I'm doing. This is my life. And this is me. You know, thanks. I think it's, you're doing a really good job with that. Thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> Okay, good. All right, Emily, do you want to go? Sure. Um, I still have been getting a lot of no's, so I guess it's not really a victory, but I do have one. I think I have one success club point now. I saw that. I got my mother-in-law to quit buying um, samples all the time. <laughs> so I don't know. She doesn't know what she wants to do. Um, but I feel like I've given out a ton of samples. Like I bought, I got it, ordered a box and I think I gave it all out and everyone just like, people don't like it or I'm like, you need to try it, you know, more than once and give it some time. And so I don't know, we'll see, but I've been getting a lot of no's. <laughs> yeah. It's been a tough month for me too. Are you, um, are you following up with those people with the, the single servings? Yes, I have. Um, some people haven't tried them yet, even though they've had them for two weeks. Mm. Um, other people just weren't crazy about them, just don't know like what they want to do if they want to do, you know, a bag of one flavor or a box of half, you know, the three, the box of three. And mm -hmm. so I just have indecisive people, I guess. Okay. Okay. How about you, Jamie? I, um, this has been actually probably my best month, which is interesting to listen to all of you guys because, um, the two people that have bought challenge packs and um, got me to, I've got four success club right now and I'm really trying to hit five for the first time. Um, but they were people that I didn't know. Um, I did like a little contest thing on my like page about a month ago. And um, of the people that shared that two people, two people came out of that that I didn't know. So, wow. Um, yeah. So it was really cool. It was really an inexpensive thing. I had Shakeology samples already and I just went to Walmart and bought one of those like $8 um, personal blender things um, threw it on my page and I got like 40 new likes out of that um, and two of those turned into challenge pack people. So that's um, amazing. Yeah, I was, I'm really still excited about it. I can't believe that. So I'm getting, I'm also getting a lot of no's. Um, but trying to stay consistent with it. I think I've got a couple people on the fence and I'm just really trying to work with them to get them in the challenge group for next month um, and hoping that'll work out. Nice. And I, um, you, you are in the lead by the way with success club points for our team. So way to go. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. One, one thing um, you guys make sure that you are promoting or excuse me, talking to people about the three day refresh. I think to, to, you know, when you're talking to people about Shakeology, to say you can just add on a three-day cleanse and, and, you know, get your results, get extra results at the beginning or tack it on to the end or however you want to say it. Um, for $10, it's like a steal. I mean, it's such a good deal. I love when that is one of the programs. Of course, 21-day fix. Um, but I, I just think that three day refresh is an awesome, I don't know. It just seems to go really well. Like it's $60 by itself. So, you know, a, a whole cleanse for, for $10 is a really good deal. Okay. Well, um, what questions do you guys have or what, what do you want to help? Does anybody have anything they want to troubleshoot or ask about? If you do just go ahead and unmute and, and do it and talk to us. Do you feel good about your plan for the rest of the month? I mean, do you have a plan? Like, how are you going to, you have 
you know, I don't know what the date is, the 17th or something. So we have less than two weeks, right? Um, so what is, what is your plan? Do you have people in mind? Do you have kind of a last resort? I always, I always sort of have like a plan, a base plan. And then if that isn't going well, like this month, I have three people that have said they're ordering. They have my link. They have all the instructions. Three people at six points. And they will not. So I'm starting to go to plan B. It's like I need a new plan. So my next plan is to try to get those points with coach recruits. So that's where I'm focusing my efforts right now. Then my next plan, plan C, is to, it's my O S H I T plan for the little girl. I think it might be an Emily. <laughs> She's gone. Okay. Uh, it's my, okay, I need to call any family members who have not ordered before and be like, help me out. You know, I've got to get, I just have to. Like for me, Success Club, it's just not even an option. It's like, I have to do that. And honestly, you guys, the reason I want to, to get it so bad is because of the thousand dollar cash on the free trip. So I'm in the, you know, I'm on the wait list for this free trip and literally they give you a thousand dollars cash if you get Success Club 10 every month. And I just like want that. I just do. I think it's so, it, I just do. So that is what I'm going for. But um, those, that's kind of how I've laid out my month. It's like the first few weeks I was super focused. I had my people. I, you know, everything was in line. That isn't happening. So then I go on to my next plan. So like, what are your plans? What do you guys have lined up? Anybody can go. Well, I don't really have a plan B but I can start thinking about that. Um, but um, I started, I kind of fell behind on my power of threes worksheet. So um, either after this call or tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm gonna um, fill that out for the rest of the week and then start thinking about next week too. So I guess that's my Good. <laughs> when is your group right now? Like what is, what, what are you inviting to? Um, I am doing a challenge group next month, but it's not starting until like second or third week because I'm going on vacation and I don't, I just, I don't feel like I want to enjoy my vacation. So I don't really want to have a challenge group then that I have to worry about. I just think I need just like a little break. So it's going to be after that. Okay. So if it's the second week, you could still say order by, you know, the end of the month. So you can okay. get that, you know, the 21 day fix for $10. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's on sale. It's been on sale for a while. I don't think it will be next month. Um, if it's the third week in March, eh, they probably could order in March. So it wouldn't count for February. Right. But one thing that you guys could be doing is, um, it, recruiting for the team, recruiting coaches, and the date you would have in mind is the 7th of March. The 7th is when we start our coach basics group, which is a five-day group. So I, I like to give people that that date, you know, and, and say, sign up by the end of the month, and you could be plugged into this coach basics group. It starts on the 7th. So that's something you could be inviting to also. Especially, Alex, to that person who messaged you and said, what are you doing? Okay, anybody else? I just have a question. Um, I have a five-day clean eating group going next week. Good. Um, I did one like a month ago, and I had people that just totally, it just flopped basically. So they were like, can we do it again? I said, yeah, that's fine. So do you have any suggestions how to get them to order out of that? Like, yes. Okay. I First, guess the last one I did was like last year in the spring. So it's been a year since I've done one. I don't think I had like hardly any orders or anything out of it. Well, first I need to give you, um, at, at Coach Camp, one of the presenters did a clean eating group presentation. So I need to send you those files. They, it was amazing. I don't know why it felt different than what we've done before, like what's in the Transformers files, but it just seemed better. She has all sorts of meal plans, all sorts of grocery lists. Um, you don't have that yet, do you? Well, no, I have a different one that has a grocery list and a meal plan, but someone asked, maybe it was on the Transformers page, just in the last day or two, what, um, where's the files from oh. that? I think it was, she was referencing the same thing. I wasn't there. So 
but I think she was referencing, you know, where is this clean eating stuff? Um, so she put so it up there? That. What? She put it up there? I think so. Okay. So I'll go back and look at that and make sure it's the right thing. Do you know who the presenter was? Abby Jimenez. Okay. And if you can't find it, let me know because okay. you could read through her presentation. Some of the things she did just made sense. I, I don't know. It was just, it was more clear. But I, I mean, a few things you could do. You could, um, like on the Friday or the Thursday of the end of the group. Mm -hmm. um, well, when is your next, do you have a next group ready to go? Uh, March 7th. Okay. I think I'm going to do, well, I think it'll just be like a 21 day fix and regular accountability. Okay. I we'll want to so, do both. So I think I would say, um, you know, anybody who enjoyed this group and wants more accountability, um, I have a 30 day or a 21 day group starting on March 7th. Um, and the program is only $10 this month, you know, and, and maybe just leave it at that. Or if you really want to get some action, offer some incentives. Like anyone who signs up today gets, you know, three single serves or whatever you're willing to part with. Okay. But, um, energized packets are kind of a great giveaway because you can get 10, a box of 10 single serves for $13. Okay. So it's only $3 each. And I feel like anybody who tries energize will buy it anyway. So yeah. It feels like, and, and plus one container of it is like 20 to $30. Yes. So if they buy one of them, you've already made your money back. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would, I mean, get aggressive with it, Emily, and don't be afraid to throw some prizes out there and just see if that, if that helps. Okay. But I I'm like, would, okay, that's kind of my last, you know, it's the end of the month and I'm like, what can I do in this five day group that yeah. is going to help me? So Yeah. I, I would maybe not wait until the very last post. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd post that on Friday because by Friday people are usually like over it. I yeah. would do it on like, you know, maybe Thursday. Okay. Yeah. Good okay. luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Anything you guys want to talk about? Okay, you guys. Be consistent, stay with it, keep posting, keep inviting, keep doing your power of threes. I know that it's not always easy, but th these people are all listening. And when it's right for them, they're in your funnel. When it's right for them, they're going to start funneling in. And one morning you're going to wake up and you're going to have all these messages in your inbox. And you're going to be like, oh, I'm so glad I talked to those people back then. I promise it's coming. Once the birds start chirping and the grass turns green, they'll be, they'll be knocking on your door. Okay? All right, everybody, thanks for giving me your time tonight, and uh, have a good rest of your week. I'll talk to you soon. Good night.